Just the other day, I showed you some raw images of Saturn straight off JWST. I said I was excited to see some officially processed images soon, but I did not think it would be this soon. We already have our first look at a colour image of the solar system's crown jewel, and it is really beautiful. The data used for this was taken on June 25th, 2023, using the near-infrared camera NERCAM on the telescope. This image in particular only uses a single wavelength of light, 3.23 microns. But we know other wavelength observations have been taken, as long as longer exposures of the planet too. They haven't been released yet, so there is much more to come in the future, but it's still cool to have this one already. We can compare it to one of the raw images we saw in the same wavelength, and see how much more detail we can see in the processed version. I think this is mainly due to cleaning up the image and stacking multiple exposures together, but I am not an imaging process expert. The body of the planet is still very dark, especially compared to the very bright rings that surround it. As I said in the previous video, this is because methane in the planet's atmosphere absorbs almost all of the light at this wavelength. So basically none of it is reflected back to the telescope. But the rings don't absorb this wavelength at all, and instead send it all our way. That's what gives us this really interesting contrast here really showing off the rings and all their structure and intricacies. We can easily see the rings gaps and count the different rings, which are simply labelled with letters of the alphabet. I particularly enjoy seeing the thin F ring on the outskirts, although it is a bit of a shame that we can't see the diffuse E ring here. We saw an image of volcanoes on Saturn's huge moon Enceladus recently, and the water vapour spewed out by the volcanic activity feeds that E ring, so it would have been cool to see it here. The deeper exposures I mentioned earlier should let us see the fainter rings, including the E-ring, so that's something for us to look forward to. We can also see three of Saturn's moons, which isn't that many given that we now know it has over 120 of them, but most of them are really small. The incredible thing here is that in the same image we can see these really faint and dim moons alongside the very bright rings of the planet. This is a real testament to the observing power and range of the telescope that it can capture all of these things at the same time. So good job JWST, keep it up. Turning to the planet itself, we can't see the usual bands of clouds and colours that we know feature in the visible wavelengths of light. We have seen the planet in great detail from the Cassini spacecraft that actually visited the planet, but we've never seen it in this clarity in this wavelength before. There are vague dark patches and lighter patches that don't follow the lines of latitude of the planet, hence no stripes, but we get a sense of large-scale planetary waves dancing through the upper atmosphere of Saturn. The stripes come from layers deep deeper in the atmosphere, but here we can see stratospheric aerosols high above the main clouds. The northern hemisphere looks darker than the south, despite the fact that it's currently summer in Saturn's north and winter below the equator. This appearance might be due to some seasonal process that particularly affects the aerosols we can see here, but we don't know anything more than that just yet. Something I think is pretty cool is that around the edge of Saturn, on the very edge of the disk of the planet itself, we seem to see a bit of brightening. This is likely due to high altitude methane fluorescence, the upper atmosphere emitting light, or possibly something like trihydrogen emission. We're seeing it because we're essentially able to look right through the atmosphere at these points of the planet. Right now, we can neither confirm nor deny the presence of this emission. We can neither confirm nor deny. But future spectroscopy from JWST should help us resolve the matter. Personally, I'm really looking forward to seeing more of this planet from JWST. But for now, leave any comments, questions, or philosophical musings you might have in the comments below. Feel free to check out either of the videos on screen now if you want to hear more about the solar system planets from JWST, and thanks for watching. Until next time, stay safe team. I'll see you soon. Bye!